Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christina, founder of Jouer Cosmetics, and yes, I use Jouer products in this video, so I want you to know that up front. Jouer Cosmetics, in case you didn't know, is a clean makeup line that uses skincare ingredients in all of our products, so it's really multitasking beauty, effortless, beautiful colors, and luxurious packaging. So today I wanna to show you one of my tricks for wearing makeup under masks and not having it come off all over the back of your mask. Not only is this important because you don't wanna break out from shifting, waxy, emollient lipsticks, but we want to keep our mask clean throughout the day. We're generally wearing them on and off, on and off, and we want to look beautiful. We want to have gorgeous lips. So this is my trick to wearing lipstick with a mask and not looking like a flat lip. Like I love a beautiful nude, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of depth to it, and I love it. All right, so let's get started, and I'm going to show you how I line my lips how I fill my lips in and how I make them pop using liquid lipsticks. Let's go. All right, so there's three steps to this process. The first step is using a darker shade as a lip liner in lieu of a lip liner. Now, I love my lip liners. These are three of Jouer's lip liners that I'm obsessed with. If you follow me, you know I am obsessed with them. But what I have noticed is that they do come off on the back of a mask. And that is a no-no. I hate that. I hate that so much. So I don't want to like take my mask off and have like icky makeup on the other side of it. So I found a way to get my lip liner in because I do not go one day without lip liner. It is probably one of those products that I feel like just defines my lips. It makes me look so much better. Like I cannot go without lip liner. So I found a way to add lip liner without actually putting on lip liner and having it stay while I wear a mask. It's good, man. It's good. All right, guys, I've got nothing going on on my lips right now. They are bare as can be, and I'm going to start with the liner, and my liner of choice today is going to be the shade Noisette. Noisette is a warm brown shade. A lot of people use it as their nude, but it's a little bit dark for me, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a shade that is in the tone of your usual lip liner, but is in a lip cream formula. So this one is the perfect kind of shade for me. It's a nude, but it's a little deep. I like to give myself a little bit of a shadow underneath, so I need the darkness. All right, so I'm gonna use a this is actually an eyeliner brush. This came in our Jet Set collection and it is a gorgeous brush and it's got a pointed end over here and then it's got a flat paddle end over here. You can see I've used this before. So uh, that's what I'm using. Another good choice would be kind of a liner brush, like a liquid liner brush. That will also work. The, the trick is that you want a liner brush and let's get to it. So I'm gonna take Noisette and I'm just gonna open that up. And I'm going to take a mirror. I have this one right here. So I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm going to add a little bit of product to the tip of the brush. And now we are going to go. Can you guys see me? So I am literally outlining my lips. Now, I usually like to smudge my lip liner a little bit, so I might do that just to soften the line. Okay, that's perfect. I like to go a little bit under my lip to create a bigger lip. Okay, and now we're gonna do this side. I'm actually going to remove the bow a little bit. This gives me the appearance of a fuller pout. Is that weird to say pout? I think that's weird, but I said it. All right, so I have aligned my lips. I'm so excited. Okay, I've lined my lips with noisette, and now I'm going to take the paddle end of my brush, and I'm going to apply... Uh, what am I going to apply? I'm going to apply Ballerine, which is this beautiful nude. It's kind of a pinky with a little bit of a warm undertone. It's 
my perfect nude. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Because I don't love to put liquid lipstick directly on my lips and like have so much of it, I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and paint that on. I need my mirror. I think, I think less is more. So it's a really thin layer. All right. And the final step, which is, I think it's one of the most important steps if you're gonna wear liquid lipsticks. I don't love the full matte look. Like, I think this is okay, but I like to have a little shimmer in my lip, but I don't wanna put a full metallic lip cream on my lips. I did a whole swirl with that. I don't want it. So I'm going to do a little bit of, what shade am I gonna use? I'm gonna use Pomplamousse. You can use any metallic lip for this, but the lighter the better, because what I'm trying to replicate is the look of a gloss. I'm trying to give that kind of wet look with using metallic. And the way you do that is you hit the high points of your lips. So the high points of your lips would be the ridge, okay? So it would be the ridge, like if you took, if you wore gloss and then you took a photograph of yourself, where would that reflect be? It would probably be right about here in the front of the lip and then it would be in the bottom portion, okay? So that's exactly where I'm going to put the metallic. And I'm gonna use the same brush, the paddle end of the brush, and I'm gonna pick up the product from the doe foot and we're gonna to start to paint it on, okay? I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I love it so much. I'm giving the illusion of that little plumpness right there. And voila. Now let that dry down and then we're gonna do the mask test. I'm grabbing my mask. This is the adorable Jouer mask and I'm just gonna kiss it. Nothing came off. Mask is getting a lot of love. Nothing came off. This is mask proof lipstick and here's what i want you to know about wearing lipstick under masks lipsticks like a lip balm or a chapstick or any kind of emollient lipstick is going to move around your face underneath the mask and if it gets off on the mask and then it touches your chin or your cheek that is where you're going to get a breakout so not only is this just like a great way to have lipstick on while you're running around taking on and off your mask, but it's also a way to prevent breakouts. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, I would so love to see you back here. Subscribe right down below and I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching.